Where is your notes? This is your notes. So yesterday I told about a uh, problems at uh, uh, boot processing and issues at boot processing. Just read it once so then and check this uh, issues in YouTube or uh, in a Google search. You'll get it. Okay. So today is 8, 18, 2023. So I'm starting with the operating system. So the basic part of operating system guys. And already I shared a link to you so then uh, you can access the PPT link. And I'm also giving here because sometimes you miss few points from here. You can take it from the PPT also. So first question is what is an operating system? Okay, what is an operating system? So you have a hardware, so like you go and purchase a, a computer. Okay, you purchase a computer, just a computer, you purchased it, but it does, uh, what to do with that? Okay, so we'll put everything in now. Okay. So what is an operating system? Look at here. You go, you you went and buy a one computer, a computer. So means it contains a CPU, of course RAM, hard disk, right? So your networking connections, NICs. Like this, you have a hardware components are there. Now you want to run an application or you want to run a command. How to run a command on this your hardware? So we need a certain thing in between you and this hardware. So that is, is nothing but a, our operating system. You want to run an application? You, do, you want to run a, give a certain commands? Or you want to interact with your system, do certain things. We need a operating system. Okay. So this operating system provide a environment to run applications, commands, and uh, user interface. And it interacts with your hardware. And it is interacts with your hardware to run your applications. So someone. So yeah, I'm the slim. Yeah, present. I didn't get a shot. Shakti Vishal, Shivam Kumar, Subrat Kumar, Malik, Supravat, Govind, Ram Govind, Sharik. Okay, these two people are not coming anyway. So Harshit and uh, Himan Sudev, Vijendra Singh, and Atish Singh. These are missing. Okay. So your operating system interacts with your hardware, runs your applications, and means how application should be run on your hardware. Okay. How it should be run your commands, instructions, data. Okay. So user interface, everything is dealing with by operating system and also it is interact with your hardware means. So it make a communication between them. OK, how to do deal with the processor, RAM, hardware devices like a networking adapters, um, monitoring system or a printers kind of stuff, audio files, audio chipsets, how to communicate with them. So that is also done by your operating system only. OK. 
So his operating system is a software which acts as interface between end user and a computer hardware. Every computer must have at least one operating system. Every computer must have a, at least one operating system. Without operating system, you can't run. You can't do anything with your system generally. Okay. So there is a certain application applications like you want to play games, you want to work with an application web browser. So all required a environment to run uh, and perform its task. So for that one, we test we are using operating system. Operating system help you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak computer language. Guys, what is a computer language? Is a binary system. Okay, it is a kind of binary system. So just like this. Okay, just I've written normally, just for our understanding. Okay. So computer understand binary system, hexadecimal system, not is our English language or Telugu language or Hindi language. You don't understand any other languages, right? So programming languages also don't understand anything. Okay. So who is will do between these two things is a, our operating system. So without operating system, so we cannot able to communicate with a your computer otherwise you need a know how to speak a computer language like a binary system giving any input in the that kind of language it is not possible for a user to use any computer or a mobile device without having operating system without operating system it is very difficult or a, almost all very difficult to for an operating system Okay, so this is the first part. So this is uh, some picture, any picture you can take it. So you go put a Google and you will find uh, that picture. Anyway, I'm not going to the, give that pictures kind of stuff. Guys, our operating system as I given a diagram that is two parts of operating system. One is kernel part, another one is a shell part so whenever we are anyway you if you are learning linux or a unix operating system okay you are going to learn yes sir i'll start this start start this now start this time okay whenever you are learning about Linux and Unix, then you may hear about this uh, kernel and shell part of operating system. Guys, any operating system, any operating system is basically two parts. One is, okay, so one is kernel part, another one is shell part. What is this kernel? Kernel is interact with your hardware, shell interact with the user so i'm going to write a small diagram here so try no not this one so we need a zeros here like this circles okay so this is a outside like a i have a user user need a user interface to interact with your computer right i want to run an applications right i want to run an applications or a command okay so i want to work with my system so this is i want to do it right so this is what i'm trying to do it. so this is i want it and i have a hardware internally so what is the thing will provide a interface to the user and interact and make it run on your application is a 
your kernel part of operating sorry shell part of operating system this shell will run your applications and make it it provide a user interface the shell part okay uh, you can take it in as two layers is also enough actually two layers one is a shell part another one is a kernel part Okay, another one is a camel. What is this kernel? Kernel is also a nothing but a, a simple program or a software, okay, which interacts with your hardware. Hardware means your CPU, your RAM, your hard disk, your NICs. Like so many are there, your hardware part. Simply you can say hardware is also good. The hardware components are interacted and managed by this kernel part of operating system. And shell part of operating system provide a user interface and run user applications. So this is a kernel part of operating system. So why it is? And this is new one. Something missing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so kernel in traps. Kernel interacts with your hardware, shell interacts with the user. Kernel manages hardware management like a disk management, process management, network management, memory management, like a all devices managed by your kernel. So it will interact with the devices means whenever you given a command, the shell understand what is the command you given and convert into kernel language. Kernel will give to the processor and once process completed the kernel will take and give it to shell shell will uh, present you on your screen so same thing you connect a network you will have a memory like a ram memory is there okay your audio devices video devices everything will understand how to interact with them how to show the uh, how to make it uh, give work with it will understand by kernel only next part is shell shell interacts with you shell interact with a user means we are able to understand our computer we can able to interact with our computer only because of only because of shell okay it is also provide a user interface, graphical user interface like that, command line interface can kind of stuff. Shell runs applications, shall run applications. Okay, when it comes to the shell, okay, so if you take Linux or Unix, different type of shells are there. So Bash shell is currently uh, using shell uh, currently. A, um, in the Linux and Unix based operating system using Bash shell. Other than that one, there is a different shells also there. Of course, Windows operating system also having a shell, but Microsoft completely restricted uh, knowing about uh, the kernel architectures or a shell programming of a uh, operating system. But in a Linux, it is open source, so everybody knows. And one more point is, guys, I said. Uh, 
line uh, shell provide a user interface to interact with your computer we need a user interface either it can be a command line interface or a gui means graphical user interface okay command line interface or a graphical user interface okay for example i am operating my windows operating system graphical based interface okay i can see the screen i can minimize i can uh, open an application i can open the file directly using a simple graphical user interface and what is going on with my application what is happening to my copy paste moving data everything i can see directly okay so this is graphical user interface for example you are operating your system in a simple command based only like you want to create a file you have to give a command you have to see what files are there you have to give a command you want to do certain tasks you have to give a command so it is a command line interface okay so this is another part okay so if you take windows and linux so sorry linux and unix operating system powerful cli so they mainly use in the cli pattern that's why we have a bash shell kind of stuff we are using in a windows okay so it's a gui based things okay guys this is about your operating system What is happening to this? I'll copy it and it is not happening. Okay. Here it is. Different types of operating system is there. Types of operating system. So not in a one manner, guys. It is a different ways. You can uh, you can uh, have a different types of operating system. Okay, so there is a different type of operating systems. So here, simple operating system, network operating system, and operating system based on user and number of tasks based. Okay, user of based on the number of users and the task base. What happened? Okay, good, good, good. So, what is syncing? Finally. Okay. Okay. So, here it is SOS, simple operating system, network operating. First of all, I will tell this one, guys. Simple operating system means desktop based operating system. Simple operating system means desktop based operating system. Network operating system means server based operating system. What is the difference between server based operating system and desktop based operating system? Desktop based OS means general purpose. In my desktop, in my Windows 10, I can able to do web browsing, application, different type of applications, gaming, playing games, multimedia related, audio, video, kind of stuff okay heavy uh, applications so i'm accessing different type of services web related services file related services mail related services i am receiving that is a desktop based operating system 
Next, uh, network operating system. What is network operating system? Uh, network operating system is a server based operating system. Windows servers, Linux servers, Unix servers are there. Servers actually provide a different type of services. It can be authentication services, IP related services like a DHCP, DNS type of services, mail services, VPN services, okay, uh, deployment related services, okay. So server provide a different type of uh, services. So that is thing, okay. Types of operating system. So one is network operating system and a simple operating system. SOS, NOS operating system. Next one is user and a task operating system. Single user, single task, single user, multitask, single multi user, multitask. Okay, single user, single task, single user, multitask, multi user, multitask. So what is single user, single task? I can do only one task at a time and only one user can able to work on the system. So that is a single user, single task. Only one user, one task at a time they can able to do it. That is a single user. Example, Microsoft DOS operating system. So only one DOS operating system no remote connectivity physically or logic uh, through network also they cannot able to connect single user multitask single user multitask what it is in windows based operating system both windows servers and windows desktop based operating systems both are single user multitask based operating system single user multitask operating system it means only one user at a time they can log into a system either directly or a means physically or through network only one user can able to log in at a time but but we can run a multiple tasks like i am using currently okay a print brush is there microsoft teams is there google chrome is there right so whatsapp messaging means multiple tasks i can able to run in a single system but only one user at a time you can log in. Next one is multi user multitask. Multi user multitask. What is multi user multitask? So, example Linux and Unix operating systems are a multi user multitask operating system. Multiple users can log into same system either physically or through network. So, multiple users can able to log in at a time either physically or through network you can log in. okay so that is a multi-user multitask so what are the types of operating system generally simple operating system sos nos network operating system okay and single user single task single user multitask multi-user multitask Another uh, operating system is also there, guys. That is called a real-time operating system. Real-time operating system. Distributed operating system. I'm not explaining distributed. Now I don't want to think that much now, OK? So real-time operating system, guys. We are all using uh, regular operating system windows linux unix operating systems mac operating systems is a regular operating system means different type of hardware and general purposely these operating systems we can able to install and we can run depends upon my hardware my operating system my different type of applications i'm using that it's a general purpose one. Okay, and also support to different type of hardware. But real time operating system specially designed. It is specifically for particular hardware. They will design an operating system for a particular hardware. For example, you have a satellite communications. 
Okay, so our military related devices are not computers, generally the military communication devices. Our scientific uh, areas like your research centers, they need to run certain tasks based on their hardware, they will write their own operating system. Okay, so they won't depend upon any other uh, general purpose operating system. Okay. So, of course, recently I have seen this is a uh, if flights uses a Windows operating system when there are flying. So maybe Windows updates will be going on. OK, so while flight is going on, so Windows updates. So once it is updated, rebooted, then it will work. It will take half an hour. Meanwhile, something will happen. OK, so they will design a separate operating system for their hardware and their purposes only, not for a general purposes, a general running and application purposes they want to say. Okay, that is a real-time operating system. Distributed operating system, it is kind of sharing multiple resources. Like I want to run a task in a multiple servers. So then I use a distributed systems kind of stuff. Okay. So that's point only. So the letter you can search if you want. Everybody knows mobile operating system, guys. Different mobile operating system. That too, recently we are having smart mobiles. So most popular is Android, iOS. iOS is belongs to Apple. Not only these guys, so many years back itself, we have a different type of operating system. Even you take a small mobile phone, like a feature mobile phones, also having a some operating system. Without operating system, you can't interact. That is the first thing, right? So there is also some operating system. Nokia, Nokia used earlier, it is a Symbian based operating system. It's a Symbian operating system. Tizen, Samsung developed the Tizen based operating system, but they're still using most of the mobiles with a Android only. Because people like an Android and Android having multiple applications, different type of applications support is there in the Android. Blackberry. Blackberry phones are there earlier. Now it is discontinued. Maybe one or two models are trying to come into the market. But still, in the golden days of Blackberry, having their own Blackberry operating system. Okay, that is a uh, when uh, before Android coming coming into the market or uh, before that one or maybe at the time before um, so this BlackBerry mobile phones are more popular. That time smart mobile means BlackBerry mobile only. Windows phone, Windows is also very old uh, mobile phone operating system that are provided, but last one is. Six months, right? Six Okay, so Nokia launches with the Lumina series with a Windows phone. That time already Android is become a popular and a very less application support and costly mobile because that time it is a 10,000. But uh, Android mobile, Samsung and uh, some other companies launch with a 6,000, uh, 7,000 only. Okay, it damages the Nokia business and <laughs> Windows mobile. Up to Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, the mobile operating systems are released, but they stop. Maybe in future, maybe, maybe in future, may we'll get it. But most of the cost investment on a mobile uh, operating systems. So there is a lot of cost investment. And application support is also one of the important. Guys, these are the. Operating system. Okay. This is I'm giving a list. Guys, what is the desktop operating system and server operating system kind of stuff? Just for our understanding. So when we discuss about NYS. Network operating system is our server based operating system. Okay, so here it is. When you see a desktop operating system, 
Okay, so what it do? We can run different type of applications, games, multimedia, data processing, web browsing. We can play games. Okay, uh, we can edit uh, movies, pictures. Lot of support is also there. One second. Seventy-five percent off on movies with IBSC. Okay. And uh, desktop operating system is also called as a end user device or a client PCs. Okay, it is act like a client PC to your server. Server operating system it supports server applications, and it is also having a built-in server features or roles. By installing these features or roles, or by installing server application. A server, it become a, a kind of server. Example, DHCP server, DNS server, VPN server, web server, mail server, authentication server, proxy servers, with deployment servers, database servers, remote desktop servers, like a different type of servers it is. Network time protocol server, okay, time server it is. Time dot Windows dot com is a time server. So this is the server OS. What server OS provide? A, so by in server OS by installing server applications are built in. Features or uh, roles or some kind of packages. Packages. So by in server OS by installing server applications are built in. Features or a roles or a packages, a server can provide the service. Server provide a service. So it called as the server. Okay. So this is the point. Is okay. This is the point. Means you install DHCP, then it is a DHCP server. Okay. You install a DHCP, it is called a DHCP server. You install a exchange application. You install a for example Microsoft Exchange application. Then it is become a mail server. Okay, so installing a HTTP, HTTPD, Tomcat. Install a Tomcat. It is an application server. You install a HTTPD Apache. HTTPD it is a web server. Okay, so by installing some applications or by built-in roles or features, okay, or certain packages, the server can able to provide a particular server. Service. Service so that it can. So, service. So, we can call it as a, a Butler server. Okay, 
So this is. As the Butler server. OK, so for example, you install a Oracle. TV application. Maybe install a MySQL server application. And this become automatically database server. OK, so like that by installing certain applications or a feature. So this is about your desktop operating system and server operating. Guys understand up to now. Yes, sir. Just I want to tell very simple thing because you we are we are in a um, Windows. Uh, sorry, we are in an operating system. So then I'm just want to tell very simplest thing is about a, what is the difference between Windows and Linux? What is the difference between Windows and Linux? So guys, if possible, try to find out, find, try to find difference between Windows and Mac operating system also. So in the Windows operating system, okay, mainly in a Windows operating system, it is a, not a open source. Linux is a open source. Yes, a lot of people think open source means it is a free. And next one is open source means Open source means, uh, sorry, free operating system, free application means it is a open source. That is completely wrong. Open source is meaning is free. That is okay, no problem. But free application means or free operating system means it is a open source. That is a wrong one. That is a completely wrong. Next one. Guys, Linux actually not an operating system. Linux is simply a kernel. Linux is nothing but a kernel. This kernel part you can download freely and you can open this kernel, develop as per your requirement, both kernel and shell. Also you can take it and develop both kernel and shell and make it your own operating system and you can distribute that operating system um, to public. OK, there is no restrictions. OK, there is a no restriction. So that's why Linux is a open source. Open source means the source code of a, the application or operating system or a software is available. The source code is available. So you can able to take the source code and develop as per your requirement. Next, Linux is a non-proprietary. Non-proprietary means there is no ownership of Linux operating system. So anybody can take Linux kernel and develop and distribute as per their requirement. OK, they can use their for their self and also they can able to distribute outside. Whereas a Windows is a property of Microsoft. Anything, any modifications should be done in a Windows space operating system that is by Microsoft only. The source code is completely lack. No one knows what is the code inside of uh, Microsoft operating system. They won't tell to anyone. And Linux is actually developed by the Linux. The kernel is developed by Linus Torvald. Torvalds, Linus Torvalds. Okay, so Linus Torvald is like this is the guy Linus Torvald. This is the tech talk. If possible, watch the tech talk movie. It's a tech tech tech. Yeah, Ted 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 video. This is the Ted video. Okay, so the mind behind the Linux. So very good interview it is. Okay. 
Linus Torvald took a Unix kernel part, small part of Unix kernel, taken a, a Unix kernel and developed a Linux kernel. That's it is a, called Linux or Linux because Linus Torvald, it is a name is Linus Torvald and he took a Unix and created a Linux. Okay, that's why that's the name came also like that. Linus Torvalds. And what is another part of Linus Torvald? Our GitHub, Git, Git concept, the Git actually designed by Linus Torvald. Okay, Git is because it's a continuous development kind of stuff. For that purpose also, he designed the Git kind of stuff. Okay. It is developed by Linus Torvalds. Next. In Windows operating system, basically we use UI based, means mostly graphical interface only. So we do all interaction with the graphical base only. And less uses of CLI in the Windows operating system. Whereas uh, in a Linux, it is a powerful CLI. Mostly we are using a CLI operating system only. OK, so more powerful CLI in Linux and all Windows operating systems are distributed by Microsoft only Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2016, 19, 2022. All are distributed by Microsoft only, whereas the Linux operating system, different type of distributors, people take in a kernel of Linux and develop at their own. So example, you, need, you went to uh, Saint Vyas, Red Hat Enterprise, Linux, Fedora, Divine, all these things. Not only these, there is a lot of distributions are there. In Windows, generally, it is not a case sensitive. Linux is a case sensitive. In Windows, you want to use a Windows operating system. So most of the time, you have to pay for a license. You have to pay for a license. OK, you know, in Linux uh, operating systems, basically free licenses, maybe some may charges for a, a using an, a Linux. Their operating system, mostly it is a Linux is free and Linux kernel is, is open source and Linux based operating system also available. Okay. So it is a free as per GPL and GNU, general public license and GNU. Most of the viruses are created for a Windows operating system, so then it won't react with your Linux operating system. So that's why we call a Linux is a virus free and a Linux also don't do any self execution type compulsory in a Linux. You have to tell so whether you should install some application or accessing some document, how you access their file structures and execution self execution things are different in linux so generally windows based viruses won't react like a .exe won't work in a linux operating system okay Yes, server OS, desktop based operating system. Windows operating systems, we have a server based operating system, Windows based operating systems also available. Coming to the um, coming to the Linux based operating system, server voices are more like a Linux servers are more Linux and Unix. Generally, server based operating system 
very less desktop based operating system like ubuntu desktops and are this desktop based operating system very less that too very less we are using of course windows is user friendly and linux is required compulsory trained professionals because windows desktop operating system generally now work from home not only work from what is that one online classes are happen so for a school child people are able to use it not there are not a computer kids right there are just they have a laptop open start simple to use they need to write any code to use to the system any issues are occur they will know what is occurring and they can able to see it because it's a gui thing it is a more user friendly and because of cli uh, of um, you know, unix and linux it is not much user friendly and you need a trained professional to use it of course by default a built in administrator is there which is having highly privileged user okay in the windows system in linux we have a root user is there is a administrator of our linux guys these are another two more important points windows is a single user multitask whether it's windows desktop or a server it is a single user multitask and coming to the linux linux is multi user multi task operating system to use a windows operating system actually it is take a very less hardware footprint what is less hardware footprint means less utilization of cpu ram and disk space so then windows is sorry linux is a less utilization of hardware so in a windows it is more utilization of hardware is there because of the gui and background services uh in a, any window system okay so less foot hardware foot, uh, sorry more foot hardware footprint for a windows less hardware utilization or footprint for a linux okay so this is what i am trying to say once again guys windows and linux windows is a not a open source linux is actually open source kernel part of operating system so anybody can take linux and develop and distribute Uh, as per their uh, requirement and other things. Windows operating system is a proprietary of Microsoft. Linux operating system, there is no proprietary rule. Anybody can take it and develop and distribute, uh, like you went to Saint Vitus, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Debian, um, Fedora, Linux Mint. These are all comes under uh, Linux different Linux distributions. Linux use powerful CLI. and uh, less gui coming to the windows all windows operating system distributed by microsoft and the gui uh, is based operating system that's why more hardware footprint is required less cli interface okay mostly in a linux everything is a case and store okay guys capital small letters carefully you have to do in windows mostly uh, the commands and files are in a not in a case sensitive work so few things but most of it is not case sensitive only use a windows based operating system you have pay for license you want to use a linux based operating system most it is free licensing but you need a support you have to pay for a support in for a linux window in a linux dot exe are not executed so self dot exe is like self executable files dot exe files windows based files and applications won't work in a linux so obviously windows based viruses may not be affected maybe maybe may not be server desktop and uh, uh, server and uh, desktop operating systems are there from windows and server OS uh, is a more type of server OS operating system from Linux based systems and uh, less desktop based operating system. So that is different. Okay, guys, highlighted one compulsory duty. So I'm telling multi you you single user multitask, multi user multitask, and uh, Windows required more hardware footprint means more utilization of CPU, RAM, and hard disk kind of stuff. Uh, whereas linux is a less hardware footprint it is utilized less hardware 
kind of stuff. Okay, guys, up to understand now what is an operating system, type of operating systems, what is kernel, what is shell, Windows and Linux differences. So next part, I will try to tell about a Windows uh, 10 features, but very less time. So then I will jump to the certain things in a Windows 10 guys, Windows based operating system like registries, services, safe mode, how to speed up your uh, Windows system, how to repair your files. And if time is there, then I will go to BS or the blue screen of death. Restoration is also there. Okay.